Hi there, this is Jen, and thanks for joining me on the Scrapbook Pal YouTube channel today. Today I'm making a really fun interactive card using these products from Spellbinder. So first there is the pick your greeting slider. Um, so it's got all these sentiments, um, an arrow, and then the slider portion. And then there is an accessory set called uh, slider bar accents, which are um, kind of birthday or celebration related, but there is a heart, um, a candle, a ice cream cone, and another um, arrow in that. Um, so to get started, I went ahead and I cut out the slider bar or the square area in a piece of white cardstock and a piece of blue cardstock. And then for the actual slider piece, um, I just cut one piece out with some white cardstock, which is uh, the heaviest cardstock I have. I believe it's probably 120 pounds maybe. Um, and then when you cut that out, it embosses that. Um, the words pull and so I'm gonna go ahead and um, adhere my um, a slider square pieces together so I'm just going to layer that um, blue on top of the white and then for the card background that stripe paper is a really pretty lawn fun paper pack um, so for my card panel I'm using that and then I'm also using that in a yellow piece of paper to fit behind the slider bar so that when you pull that up there's a little bit of color behind there um, and I just went ahead and I trimmed that to fit behind the square and then I'm going to add some 1 8 inch foam um, strips to the back of this. And you don't need to add the foam strips for it to slide. It will still slide without those, but um, I just think it works a little bit better with the foam. And so I went ahead and I am adding those right next to the slider bar. Um, just to make sure that it slides really evenly and doesn't wiggle around. But to do that, I had to cut off the bottom of that because that because the um, strips are so close to the side it was uh, making it stop so it wouldn't pull up so I just went ahead and I cut the bottom off um, and that fixed the problem and so I will go ahead and add just a stopper at the bottom using another piece of foam tape and then I'm going to take that yellow piece of paper and I will remove the foam um, backing and go ahead and adhere the yellow piece of paper and then I'll go ahead and kind of um, try it out and make sure it still works. So I'm going to take the slider piece and insert that between those two pieces and it actually sides really nicely. Um, there's all sorts of things you can do with this. Um, I think you can do one of those magic window changers um, or you know do a different designs behind that slider piece would be really fun um, for this i'm going to go ahead and there are five little words in this set um, i'm only going to grab three of them um, one of them says in my heart and then the next one says a star and then sweet and i've cut all of those out with a white piece of a cardstock and then i'm going to take the blue piece of cardstock and um, use that die to go ahead and cut the backing pieces out and so I'm just going to go ahead and adhere all of those. When I adhere the in my heart piece I only put the blue um, cardstock behind a portion of it so that I can go ahead and color this other piece of paper and trim that down and add that so that there is a pink heart behind there. And then for the uh, next piece, I'm using the arrow that came in the set and again, back that with a piece of blue. And so it's just the arrow and the words or the letters that say you are. And then I go ahead and use this heart as well. And so I'm gonna take that same pink marker that I used for the other heart. And I'm just gonna color on a white piece of cardstock and I'm going to add the um, outline cut and then the uh, middle cut for that. And I use just the outline heart to make a solid white heart. So uh, if you saw there, there was an outline heart and then the middle part that makes the little slats. So I just cut a solid white heart using that 
uh, heart outline die. And I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive to the heart. I'm not really worried about the slats. Um, there will be stickiness through that, um, but to make sure that there is no little particles that stick to that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my anti-static tool and just pounce that over um, the areas that are exposed to get rid of um, any of that stickiness. And then I'm just gonna take a uh, wipe and wipe the heart off and uh, set that aside for now. And then I had some butterflies left over from a previous project. So these are Pink Fresh Studio butterflies. And I used this partly to cover up the space on the bottom. I wanted my pull tab to come up a little bit more. And since I cut that bottom piece off, there was a little bit showing on the bottom. So I wanted something to cover that. And I also wanted something to fill in the space. So I'm using some of these leftover butterflies that I had from that project and I will go ahead and adhere that. And then I'm taking a little piece of foam tape, adding it to the right hand side of that heart. It doesn't matter which side you um, adhere it to, you just have to uh, make sure that it is actually adhered to that little slider piece. Um, you don't need to use the heart, you can just use this, the UR um, arrow or really anything you want uh, to add to that slider. Um, you can also use the items from the accessories um, set that goes with this and those also are great because they can be used as standalones as well and then I kind of made a little boo-boo here and I have put the um, last little sentiment a little bit too far down so the arrow wasn't going down that far because I had adhered that butterfly and so luckily I was able to pull that up fairly easily uh, without ruining my card stock and so um, I went ahead and kind of moved those around and spaced those out a little more um, evenly so that that arrow would be able to stop on um, each of those. And then to fill up the card a little bit more, I added a few more of these Pink Fresh Studios um, butterflies that I had colored previously. Um, and I also did, before I added all of the dimension to the card, I did cut my panel down to a little bit smaller than four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I matted that on a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of black cardstock. And that's going to finish off the card. Um, really, really cute. I love the slider. It could be used in lots of different ways. Um, the accessories, can you can make a card just on its own using those as well. Um, so I hope you liked this video. If you did like it or find it informative, please go ahead and give a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the Scrapbook Pal YouTube channel. There is lots of inspiration from the design team members. Um, thanks so much for joining me, and I hope to see you next time.